Hello everyone, I am Bill and welcome to this very special Nintendo Treehouse presentation of No More Heroes 3. I am here with Tyler and we're going to take you through the paces of the game. Say hello Tyler. Hey everyone. Um, if you know the series, you know that this is developed by Grasshopper Manufacturer and by Suda Goichi, aka Suda51, also known as perhaps the most punk rock game developer in the industry. Um, I love uh, Suda and what he brings to these games. He is a hardcore indie developer and he brings a real punk rock DIY spirit. The game is full of tons of action um, and a lot of irreverent humor. Um, but Tyler, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, this particular game and our hero, Travis Touchdown. So No More Heroes 3, uh, this takes place nine years after No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. Um, that's within the game. It's been quite a few years since uh, No More Heroes 2 came out on the Wii. And uh, two years after Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes, which was a spinoff, but there are a few elements that you will see in this game as well from there. So we are now uh, going to be taking control of Travis Touchdown, who numerous times uh, climbed to the top of the uh, the assassin rankings to be the number one ranked assassin. He is a passing assassin, but also uh, he's an otaku who loves his anime waifus and pro wrestling and all sorts of movies, music, and a lot of references do come out and you even hear them in the game. And uh, it really shows his passion for the things that he loves while well, he goes around and kills um, his various uh, enemies, in this case, aliens who have invaded planet Earth and now he needs to get to the top of the galactic superhero rankings. Great, well, we're just a couple months from launch. The game launches on August 27th, so today we are going to show off the uh, sort of enhanced battle system of No More Heroes 3, and we'll show a little bit of customization, and then we'll finish with a very special final battle. So, should we jump into gameplay, Tyler? Yes, let's jump in right away. So, let's start a battle. And I am playing with uh, two Joy-Con controllers because the added motion uh, does seem, you know, make a lot more fun, I think. But you can play without them. So basic moves, some heavy moves. All right. And as you can see, uh, Travis's main weapon is his beam katana. Uh, you can use that to block incoming enemy attacks like that. Um, you've also got, as you noted, your your standard moves, your your strong moves. You've got some kicks you can use as well to kind of disorient your opponents. And then in the bottom right, you've got a little meter there. Um, and as you fill that meter, it creates this roulette. Um, and the roulette will spin. And if you manage to line up uh, three icons like you just did, you get a little bonus. And I wasn't paying attention. And my energy gauge is down. So oh, yes. we have to charge the beam katana just like we've always had to. That's right. The, uh, the beam katana runs out of energy <laughs> as you use up uh, your attacks. You don't have to use motion controls, but I do every time. All and right. then with those successive attacks, you get that kind of finishing move there. There you go, with another roulette. And let's see if we can do a perfect dodge. These guys are a little tricky. All right, let's just take them out. Some heavy moves, maybe put them into a stun mode with some stars above his head. Nope, we're just going to finish him off. There you go. And I should probably use my death glove. Uh, it only has one uh, ability in right now. And of course, the death glove is uh, basically a new power-up sort of that uh, that Travis has in this game, correct? Right. It's uh, first made its appearance in Travis Strikes Again No More Heroes, but that was more of a spin-off. It's kind of fun to see some of those elements make it over to this one as well. All right, let's see. Can we stun these? I think we got some stun off. Nope. I'm just going to finish them. Right. Oh, nothing on the roulette this time. Now, of course, the other thing you can see here is uh, Grasshopper Manufacturer takes uh, quite a bit of inspiration from retro gaming. You can see that in the, the pixelated meter down below of the cat that sort of transforms into the tiger as you fill it up. Um, you can see the pixelated health gauges of the, uh, the aliens and uh, uh, Travis's own uh, pixelated heart gauge and energy gauge with the battery there. But um, Lots of, uh, lots of fun, sort of retro-inspired hints all throughout the game and the series. Come on! All right, let's finish this. There you go. For this uh, game, each alien, they have their own blood colors, so every alien bleeds a different color. This one was a little closer to red. 
Okay. Is, uh, is there anything else you can tell us about oh, these aliens, Tyler? <laughs> uh, all these aliens also have, they have their different unique designs, attack patterns, um, and you'll have to use various strategies to make sure you can uh, take them out as a lot of them might try to attack you at the same time. <laughs> So <laughs> now I uh, I notice here that you got a C rank. Uh, are you planning on uh, maybe coming back into this stage later and see if you can uh, improve that rank? Oh, for sure. And with some of these extra pickups right here at the end, um, that will be used for some of our customization options later. Oh yeah, tape deck, vinyl doll. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I've made my own mixtapes <laughs> at the tape with the tape deck. All right. So if you don't mind, we're going to load into a different part of the game. OK. Here's a map. And here we are. So I think Over. we're going to head back to the motel, the No More Heroes Motel. Is that correct? That's correct. And that is Travis Touchdown's home base. So we'll get to see where he spends his time in between uh, all of his uh, assassinations. <laughs> It's probably uh, increasing his anime waifu collection. <laughs> and yes, you do save on toilets in this game, just like every other before. So we're in Travis's pad. I don't have any capsule toys, so there's nothing in my toy collection at the moment. We're still a little early in the game right here. Uh, here's the bed, and you can see his posters for all of his anime waifus. Yep, he's got a nice little fire pole. Let's him drop down to the next level. Who needs stairs, right? That's right. <laughs> let's uh, let's check out the wardrobe. So you're gonna be able to collect a, a variety of t-shirts. Let's uh, take off Travis's jacket just for a little while. Well, I've got various colors. Any colors uh, you'd like to see, Bill? Um, how about yellow? Let's see, do we got a yellow? Oh, we oh, got a yellow. There we go. All right, and eh, we'll put that jacket back on. I mean, we could also, you know, go into pajamas, but let's uh, <laughs> let's let's keep it let's keep it this way with your, with your yellow shirt. All right. Some other fun things uh, you might come across in Travis's pad is no, his, cat Gene. His cat. You can play with Gene. Oh, look, that's so sweet. Of course, do you get anything for playing with Gene, or is this really just all about playing with the cat? You get nothing. You just—I mean—you you get to play with the cat. <laughs> I mean, what else? What else do you want? What else more could you ask? That's right. So you're trying to trying to throw the ball into the circle. Yes. And then Gene will dive and bat it away. Yes. And it gets progressively more and more difficult over time. Uh, and then the I think the ring gets smaller and how the ball gets placed starts to get a little more aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't do it right, well, Gene isn't very happy with you. <laughs> yes, Gene, yes. <laughs> yes, there is some of that classic uh, No More Heroes humor. <laughs> and Gene's getting bored. Right, okay, I'll try to get it in the ring this time for real. All right, there, there you, you happy, go. Gene? All right, maybe that's enough gene for now. <laughs> <laughs> that, that hurts. <laughs> but a high score, five. But it, yeah, five high score, five points, not bad. You can always come back and play with gene. Why not? Always get to play with the kitty. So obviously lots of little things to do here in, uh, in Travis's motel room. But as you can see, the pole actually goes down another level. And here are where we can find some of our customization options. So let's talk to Naomi, who is very nice. <laughs> and we're gonna do some upgrades here. The power up machine. Oh yeah. So we have our world, uh, world in supernova, which is kind of like our energy currency to boost some of these. So let's increase my health a little. Of course, you always want more attack. And that's currency that you earn through battles and completing missions, and then yes. you bring it, back, bring it back here and start uh, upgrading Travis and his abilities. That's correct. You can even see some of these other special attacks, which are super cool. Oh. And I do want them, but I definitely don't have the currency at the moment. But yeah. Ooh, let's not dodge. 
Let's uh, we gotta start somewhere though, right? You can see how much. <laughs> so what did you <laughs> what did you just add there? Uh, this one was uh, the dash dash attack. attack. Great. All right, and we got a little left, so let's add to our power there. That makes right. it so the uh, beam katana will not run out of power as quickly. That's correct. Oh, there we go. A few more other things that we notice is uh, there is a time machine, so you could come back and challenge previous bosses you've defeated. And here we go to the supercomputer. So let's create some chips. So I think you noticed that uh, we collected some enemies like a tape deck in our last battle. This oh, uses there you a, go. some radio and tape deck parts, so let's make a great chip. Damage taken goes up a little bit. I love these retro references. <laughs> Makes me want to make more. Equip it. So you equip that to the death glove, and then that's uh, increasing your attack power, slightly increasing the damage you take. Yep, that's a good gamble, I think. Yeah. What these sounds. Some other fun options. You can order sushi. In the game, you will come across uh, some stands uh, to buy sushi. Yeah. Um, but you can also order it to go. So I'm going to go with the personal favorite, uh, Magro. This does replenish health when eaten during battle. I know, Bill, uh, can we get your order? Uh, I will take some Ikura today, I think. All right. Ikura temporarily increases attack. We got a bit more to go through. Anything else? Um... Maybe a little tamago. Ooh, not bad. Increases tension. All right, and that gets delivered to you <laughs> when you make your call. And then you can use those uh, in battle to help replenish health and things like that. That's correct. And then here's a tutorial room if you want to go and revisit some tutorials. I'm just really impressed at this motel. I don't, I don't know that I've ever seen a motel that's uh, got uh, three floors and. Uh, in, in your room and this amazing lab at the bottom. It's uh, pretty standard for me that if I stay at a motel, it needs to have this, uh, you know, really cool sakura tree somewhere yeah. within the vicinity. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we ready to load into a boss battle? Yeah, I think uh, we'll get to see a little bit of uh, Travis Touchdown's signature uh, irreverence and style. <laughs> In a UFO. Yeah, I mean, you can just get a sense of, you know, overall this game is and the series as a whole has kind of a, as I mentioned, a very kind of DIY punk ethic to it, sort of a grindhouse style, if you will, um, <laughs> in terms of uh, their approach just to totally the content and the visuals. So if that technology is good, also, Gene has always Gene sounded like this, so <laughs> don't worry about it. It's a pretty deep voice for Gene. <laughs> Just remember that Earth also counts as a planet in space. Noted. Bloodthirsty people are generally the same everywhere. Travis makes a good point. Let's go. So this is Gold Joe. He is number nine in the Galactic Superhero rankings. Okay, so uh, Travis needs to defeat him to move his way up in the rankings? That's right. He has to defeat nine to become nine. Gold Joe looks pretty spectacular. It's a fabulous light show. Travis is in a place. I hope you like hearing <laughs> my hyper-modern artwork. I project images relevant to one another onto physical matter, making it seem as though there's a beautiful space existing right there. <laughs> it's cutting-edge magic. So projection mapping, right? I'm already sick of seeing that shit. <laughs> With this sort of thing from, like, the second time you see it, yeah, Travis knows it all. He understands what's going on. You can't not see it as fake. Oh, snap. Snap, crackle, and pippity pop. You guys on Earth are really something. To think that you be ahead of us in this sort of artwork? Also, that's way too much time wasted on something like simple projection mapping. Don't waste budget money on shit like this. <laughs> oh, snap! Snap, crackle, and pippity poppity pop! I have to give Goljo some extra points on those reactions. <laughs> Well, I can tell you, Travis well, is certainly see, not earning uh, magnets, any huh? favor with Gold Joe at the moment. That's for sure. <laughs> Snap, crackle, and pippity poppity poopity pow! So you're going to use blue and red magnetic north-south to bust out some just slightly puzzlish attacks, right? Damn! Travis knows everything already. Snap, crackle, and that's damn! <laughs> that's what I thought. Bingo. Okay, I'm just going to put this out there for red. 
throw up an N mark above your head. I love this. And throw up an S for blue. That'll make it simpler. Gamers like that kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know if I can do exactly as you I like how Goljo is ready to comply. I'll try my best. Nice. That's right. Show me a good time. Of course, Travis touchdown, breaking the fourth wall as always. All right. So a lot of things are going on right now. Yeah. Uh, Goljo has changed his polarity, so I want to match that. And I can use it to push him into the electric fence. That's right. So basics of, of the way magnetism works. If you have different polarities, the two of you will attract. Goljo would pull Travis Touchdown towards him to change your polarity. You run over either the red or the blue square to change to that color. And then with you've got your polarities matching, uh, Travis Touchdown can use that to push Goljo into these electrified boundaries of, of the ring. If you notice up top, uh, Goljo has his health bar in three segments. Uh, that will determine... Oh, I did a perfect dodge. Nice. So let's see if I can get something... Yes. Oh. oh, there you go. All right, throw crazy mode activated. So let's see if we can get a toss in. And yes. There you go, nice little suplex. So thing about the, uh, the phases, I need to watch out because there's not gonna be a special animation to tell you the phases changed, but so now he's summoning projectiles. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be on, uh, on my watch once these phases change because It'll make things a lot more difficult if I'm not careful. Yep. All right, push him away. But I do need to fall in battle once to show everyone watching what happens if you do fall during a boss battle. So let's see. Nice. He filled the gauge again, but got nothing on the roulette. All right, I will. Oh, nope. <laughs> I meant to have him push me in there, but. Let's see. I'll just your uh, take a beam dive. katana is running low on energy. I need to show everyone what happens if you are unsuccessful. Oh. Okay. So it's gonna say you did. <laughs> <laughs> if you choose to retry, which I'm gonna do, you have this roulette. Did I get a bonus? Uh, no bonus. Nothing in particular <laughs> to report. But you might get a bonus, which I was really hoping for. <laughs> okay. Tell me when to stop. Stop. All right. All right, one and a half times attack power. Thank you, Sylvia, and thank you, Bill. There you go. Now <laughs> we're gonna get this done. All right, let's do this. Now let's do this. Attack! Nice dodge. Okay. All right. Perfect dodge, very nice. You got some uh, some of your additional currency there, but no bonuses for the battle. Oh, gotta watch out! Oh, uh, come on! Let's push him away. Oh, didn't oh. help this time. Oh no, my beam katana. Oh. Uh-oh. You're gonna have to get some uh, some energy going there. And you Getting probably want to switch polarity. We go. Push him into the fence. There you go. All right, let's get some heavies in. Nice. Right, let's get a bonus. We get a bonus. Okay, we've got more currency. You got more currency. But we're still operating with that one and a half times attack power. Push him away. Push him away. All right. We got him into the third phase. Come on. You've got him to phase three. Hopefully, you've got him on the ropes now. 
Oh, get there. Push him away. Push him away. All right. There you go. Oh. Oh, and and you got more currency. <laughs> At least this battle's gonna Someone pay off it. for you. Finish this. There you go. Third time's a charm. That was three times, right? Whew, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> At the very end, you always have to make sure you get the job done. So this is my favorite. That's prompt. Cool. Now, of course, this is just one of the boss battles in No More Heroes 3. Um, one of the things that I'm really excited about for the game is just the sheer variety of bosses. I think there will even be some that uh, may leave people surprised at uh, what they're going to end up doing in some of those battles. There's a lot of really interesting stuff <laughs> that went into this game. And uh, I'm hoping everyone will continue to be surprised as they go through it. That's why it makes such good money. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that wraps up our demo for today. Um, unless there's anything else you wanted to add, Tyler? I think we have a special message from Suda51 himself. That's right. Let's take a look. はい、皆さん、こんにちは。もう少しお待ちください。え、で、バックチェンジできないんですけども。ま、もうちょっとね、お話しさせてください。そしてあとは確かそうなんですよ。え、Nintendo Switch ノーマヒルズ2のTシャツ、そしてトラビススライクスアゲンのTシャツ。え、これを着てもう早速とノーマヒルズ 3 え、ノーマヒルズ、Thank you Sudasan. Um Trav or I think we saw in there from from Sudasan that there's going to be some special bonuses Tyler. You want to talk about those a bit? Right. So for those of you that have save data from No More Heroes no More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. These are the, uh, the remasters on Nintendo Switch. And save data from Travis Strikes Again No More Heroes. You'll get a shirt, specifically uh, Travis's main shirt from those games that you can then wear in this game. So very exciting stuff. 
Great. Thank you all for watching. You can catch all of our Nintendo Treehouse Live segments um, uploaded onto YouTube very soon if they're not there already. Um, so hope you'll check them all out. And thank you for watching No More Heroes 3. And remember, it launches on August 27th. That's uh, right. So stay tuned, and hopefully you'll check the game out when it's available. Pre-orders start on eShop hopefully very soon. <laughs> Great. Thanks, everybody. Welcome back to Nintendo Treehouse Live. I'm Audrey. I'm here with my good friends Demetrius and Kay, and we're very excited to show you Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp. Now, this is a complete uh, remake from the ground up of Advance Wars 1 and 2. It's been 20 years since the original game came out on Game Boy Advance, so, you know, I think we've waited long enough. D, why don't you show us how it's done? Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so what we're going to do is show you two different missions today, and right now I'm actually playing the, the very first mission in the game, and we're just going to start right off and kind of just jump right into it. Um, so for those of you who've never played Advance Wars before, um, all the units I control right now are right here on the left-hand side, and the opposing team is going to be, or enemies, is on the right-hand side. My goal is going to be to capture this space over here, but let's kind of get started. So what I want to do is I'm going to start by moving my tank over here. All right. This is looking good. Brave little tank. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make sure to take care of it. When yeah. I see damage like that, I'm like, eep! <laughs> it's worth noting, this is the same addictive gameplay from the original games, but with redesigned characters and units. So that's why it's so shiny and cartoony. And adorable. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you can kind of see the edge of the map look like a board too, which is really, really cool. And this okay. grid-based system might look familiar to fans of Fire Emblem, and this is uh, this is similar, except for in this game, you actually control squadrons of units instead of individual characters, which obviously has its own challenges, as Dee's going to show us. Yes. It's really cool how they do this. So everything is turn-based. Essentially, um, I'm going to end my turn, and then I'll, the enemy will go, and that will consist of the first day. Olaf. Hello, Olaf. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's Hello. clearly the good guy. <laughs> <laughs> and Blue Moon is the name of the army that Olaf works for. We are the Orange Star Army. All right, everything's looking good so far. Oh, I was hoping they would lose four. Uh, one more additional tank right here. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. All right, we're doing okay. All right, Shaken. so... Shaken. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, I'm already. Okay, so for those who are wondering, you see right here it says damage 55%. So that's the percent I'm going to do a good amount of damage. Um, one thing to note about this game that's really interesting is you start off with 10 HP, and that is also the amount of power that you have, or it's the best way to think about that. So the less number you have, the less power you do. And this is really important because sometimes units can counterattack. Um, keep that in mind because we really want to avoid this medium tank right here. Uh, this thing can hit like a truck and just, well, hit like a tank, actually. Like a tank. <laughs> <laughs> like a and medium tank. Like a medium it's tank. Heavy. And take everything out. So I want to be very careful about that. And I also want to take out this artillery unit here. So I am going to do that. I've got to be very, very precise here. Okay. So this is looking good. Um, one thing to also note is because I'm in a city right now, on a city tile, I had enhanced defense. That's why you see those stars. So fire. This is looking good. Okay, we're going to shoot this. Bombs away! I really don't want this artillery unit to survive because uh, oh, it'll yeah, those, really mess with my, my plan. Well, those <laughs> long-range like units can be super tricky, so it is a good idea to get rid of them first. Yeah. It's really important in this game to control your surroundings. Be aware of not only where you're placing your units, but uh, what the enemy's ranges are, what's going on with the different bases. There's a lot to, uh, to manage. Correct. You can even capture cities, and this really comes into play later when you build units, which we'll show you in the next mission. Uh, but for now, I'm just capturing just because I want to. It's, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one thing to note is some units have different moves. Uh, they can only move a certain amount of spaces. So, for example, this APC, it's really good to load up some units that have less movement. So that's what I'm planning to do right now. Okay, so everything's looking good. I'm going to end here and go to day two. So what's your overall plan for dealing with this medium tank, D? 
I am going to kind of create a diversion. My, my goal is to first move all of my APCs, uh, excuse me, all of my, my troops over, and then I'm going to use my APC and my tank to block the medium tank from, from moving while I try to capture the base. So, or headquarters, rather. All right. Now, this is the part's a little... I'm going to speed this up just a little bit, but I'm a little worried. Okay, whew, not too much damage. Well, you can see them actually go through the water because they were placed on the water. Yeah, different tiles have different uh, backgrounds or different effects, and it's really cool. Now, it's the beginning of day three, so that means um, we can talk a little bit at the beginning uh, here about our CO powers. Wait, but first we have to worship an L. Hi, Nell. <laughs> Hello, Nell. <laughs> <Yeah>, move on. <laughs> <laughs> now, for those who are wondering, CO powers are essentially um, unique powers for each additional CO or commanding officer. Um, for now, she's going to be able to essentially increase her chance and have a little bit more power. So that's going to be wonderful to do. Yeah, Nell's a lucky lady. So when she increases her luck, good good things happen. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, um, the way CO powers increase is just through battle. It's not just that it randomly builds up. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. Um, I'm going to activate it right now. All right. You're going to need the luck. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute in this animation. Go, Nell. Oh. Okay, this is good. This is working out great. Um, what I need to do here, let's see. They have greater chance of dealing high damage in battle. But everyone's different. Even Olaf has a really good uh, CO power, but I want to make sure to try to avoid that because it's going <laughs> to slow me down. Yeah, Olaf's CO power is really cool. <laughs> he actually allows <laughs> I'm sorry, I had I see to. What you there. <laughs> I so appreciate that. <laughs> it allows him to make it snow, which changes the battlefield because his units aren't affected. Their mobility and range aren't affected by snow, but your units are. So you really, you really want to try and avoid that, D. Good luck with that. I know. <laughs> One other thing you might see me uh, do. Oh gosh, do I want to take that out? Actually, you know, I'm gonna. Ooh, <laughs> I don't know. What you gonna do, D? Actually, here we go. Uh, one of the new features as well to this is I can actually hold down a button and I can speed up the animations, um, which is a great, great new feature. You can also just turn the battle animations off if you want to go even faster. Right. But if you're like Why would me, you want to do that? Yeah, exactly. You want to see those They're animations. They're so cute. Yeah, if you really hate delightful things, just turn them off. But. <laughs> Otherwise, you can just fast forward through if you're short on time. <laughs> so we're going to go through that. All right, so this is looking great. Now we're going to see these mech units. That's these guys who carry missiles. They're really good against tanks, so I want to be very careful. Um, but everything's looking good here. I'm going to probably, you know what? I'm just going to stay here and end my turn. This is looking good. What yeah. I really love about this game is each time you approach a map, it, it's basically brand new. There are so many different ways you can go about winning or trying to win. And so, uh, like this time, you said you're capturing bases for fun. You, you really, you don't have to capture all of the bases in some maps. So it's really up to you how, how much you want to go for it. Yeah, well, and I'm, even I'm... on this map, if you were feeling extra lucky or maybe extra reckless, you could <laughs> try to take out that medium tank mm -hmm. and win by taking out all the units on the map. And that's Why does I feel like a challenge case? <laughs> yeah. If you were feeling great, I didn't or, say that. Uh, you should value something. <laughs> I guess you could. Wink, wink. <laughs> nah, we ain't going there. <laughs> yeah. it's too smart for that one. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna happen. I promise I'm not on Olaf's side. Uh -huh. I'm on Olaf's side, but, oh! but I do support you. <laughs> <laughs> the battle on two fronts it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're looking really good. So this is where it gets a little tricky. I really want to pay attention to the tile work because you can see this is the enemy range of attack. You'll see there's one little spot here that I can move my APC and not get attacked. So that's what I'm going to do. That APC is carrying precious cargo. That's yeah, the really key is. to your victory right there, little Henry. Yeah, yeah. I could be so gentle with little Henry. <laughs> <laughs> I just canceled that out of fear. <laughs> oh, no, I want to triple check. Yeah, okay. Really, a mistake of just one tile can ruin your whole game. <laughs> For real? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little worried. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be worried, though. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'll capture it. Maybe right be here. a little worried. <laughs> He's a little worried. A little worried. <laughs> the tank is pretty scary, right? It, now. it really it is. is. It really is. The medium tank will destroy my my regular tank in one shot because I'm at nine. If I was at ten, it would take it down to one. But oh, since no. it was damaged a little bit, oh, feisty Nell got. She did not like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna capture here. All right, things are looking good. So this is at nine. I'm gonna go ahead and park it right here because I can actually get a repair on any cities uh, that I own or have taken over. And don't forget, you can actually capture cities 
um, that are taken over by the opposing side as well. I won't do that right now, but just in case if those are wondering. All right, so here we go, Kay. I'm gonna uh -huh. bring this right here. Are you sure? This one's for you. The timing is right, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you make it all the way over to the HQ? Yeah, I can. Okay. You messing with me. He's got <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep you on your toes, man. That's right, I appreciate it. <laughs> He's got plans. I do got plans, I got good plans. We've seen those plans crumble <laughs> many times. <laughs> but that is the fun part of this. Everybody does have their own play style, and sometimes you have to kind of adjust on the fly, and that's really, really fun about this game. Yeah, it's not Dee's fault Olaf has beard powers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here it comes. Here we go. The strength of the medium tank. <laughs> oh, Olaf. I oh, mean, Olaf. Oh, <laughs> That's right. Oh. I'll do it alone. <laughs> okay. Let's go here. I'm gonna capture. And I'm gonna capture. I really should be attacking, Capturing but I'm a lot just... of cities here, actually. Yeah, I'm being a little gluttonous here, but I'm gonna move this there to protect, and then I still don't want that medium tank to move. And this is pretty much... That APC has been the MVP of this map. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> now going to a valiant you know what? sacrificial I'm just, death. I'm just gonna end my turn. I'm not even worried, you know? We, we just got this. Mm-hmm. No, this will survive mm -hmm. by one. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, oh no! no! I, oh, doubt. Oh, I was wrong! Oh, dear. Oh, and you're done. No. Henry, no, Henry. <laughs> I was not expecting that, but it's all right, because, see, you got to protect your base. You got to protect your headquarters. You got to that cities. by the skin of your teeth. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. So that's a victory. Perfect. Nice work. All right, so everything's looking good. All right, no now time we're... for celebration, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's we're take gonna on do... something that's a bit more challenging. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and cut away from that's this for I just feel. a second. <laughs> and I'm going to load up the next one, so let's just cut away for a sec. Perfect. And just you give you us a somehow chance. managed to bring down Olaf. I'm happy for you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Olaf will be back. Oh, he'll be back. So what we're going to do now is load up mission six, which is going to be a bit more of a challenge. And just a second here, I got to get through all these screens. But um, this one will be really interesting because now we're going to bring in building units with a base. And um, as well as different air units as well. So we have to be very, very, very careful. Right. And we're up against a different CO this time, who is one of my favorites. <laughs> Big Eagle fan, huh? So I am going to unabashedly be rooting for Eagle. <laughs> I'll root for D, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Now we're back in. Okay, so Those little animations are so cute. Yeah, they I really do it. emote very well. It's, mm -hmm. it's super, super cool. All right, so right now, essentially in the story, we're we're kind of seeing what's going on. We don't know who we're taking on. We don't know in just for the next few seconds. But as it is, it's Eagle, and Eagle's very, very dangerous um, because he's extremely good with his air units. Now, as you see, the map is quite a bit bigger now, and I still want to capture this headquarters here and um because you're a coward <laughs> i mean i could Ooh. go the hard way but <laughs> why, why why you know what you, you just gotta play it smart right <laughs> is that what you're calling it yes <laughs> okay yeah i'll take it a win is a win Kay. you know this <laughs> i think you've got a decent chance of winning do you? <laughs> <laughs> i will take that too all right so now i do have my own heavy tank or excuse me medium tank and I'm going to use this to kind of create uh, an open space. It's a good moment to see how the different units uh, and uh, different vehicles look different on the different sides. Exactly. Wait till we get to see some of these aerial units in action. Oh yeah. That's where the fun is at. Mm -hmm. Oh, like this one? You want to see this one in action? Fun for I'm, us. I'm uh -huh. about to shoot it down. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, these are the small fries though. <laughs> <laughs> like, we'll see how big you talk when you have to go up against the Jets. <laughs> oh. I'm a little worried about the Jets. No <laughs> you should be. The Jets yes. are formidable. And their range is enormous. They really are. And I will show everybody in just one second what we mean by that. So you see you've got a, what is it? The transport copter loaded up. Yes. One of your infantry units. Which I'm going to move down here. And this is really the, the key of, the, of at least my strategy here. 
is I really want to protect this transport copter. Um, I really want also to protect the battle copter as well if I can. But this right here is key because I'm going to fly it all the way over and land right there. But as you can see over here, these jets have an incredible range. And with Eagle CEO power, which makes them able to go twice, it's really, really tough. So you basically it's have brutal. to pay attention to the placement of that copter at all times. You, mm -hmm. you really do. You really do. Good luck. <laughs> so what I really want to do is try to block this transport copter a lot. So I'm actually going to build an APC. And I'm gonna, you're going to see me do that one more time because I want to actually build a couple and use them to kind of lure a lot of things away. So things are looking good here. That's a really good point. How you manage your resources really has a deep impact on your gameplay. It affects how you're able to complete objectives, how hard it is for yourself even. So you really have to keep an eye on your, your gold. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's see where he moves. I really love the bases too, because they do give you Ooh. more range and more, more options on how you want to tackle certain challenges. Mm -hmm. And see, this is really fascinating part about this game was during my practice, one jet went up top and one jet went below, but now they both went below. So there must be something that I'm not seeing, but that's really the fun part. So I'm going to have to improvise a little bit here. Nice. Those rockets were... Yeah, you blotch. can't really plan for the full map. They're always going to take you by surprise in some yep. way or another. Yeah, so what I want to do now is... All right, so I'm going to move... Are you sure about that? <laughs> yes. Y yes? He yes. was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't right know. Here. I've seen you get into trouble at this place before, so... I'm going to wait here, and this is what I'm going to do. That was ancient history. Is it? Here. <laughs> Time will tell. <laughs> I am going to move Ooh. here. Woo. That was gutsy. Yeah. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> My plan is working. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I do want to keep that there. All right, shoo. Now, the jets cannot attack things on the ground. They only go air to air. So as you see now, I'm boxing everything in. The only thing I'm worried about is if a jet goes from behind and takes out my battle copter. So I got to be very careful. Mm -hmm. But so far, we, we in there. I'm going to move right here. Move this here. I think people call this the turtle technique. <laughs> <laughs> it's called winning. <laughs> <laughs> and I will we'll take do that. it. <laughs> Okay, let's do end turn. And there is a bomber up in the top hand right, but I don't want to go within that view. Now you'll see that Eagle's taking over bases as well, but we're okay with that. Um, I have I have plans. I have plans, ladies. <laughs> we believe I think we got you. This. <laughs> That's what do you always you know? say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. It okay. really feels like playing with a bunch of uh, toy soldiers when you're playing. Yeah, it game. really does have that <laughs> feel, doesn't it? Okay. So everything's looking good. What I really want to do now is take this one out. So if I don't destroy these, it really gives Eagle a chance to use all of this arsenal twice. Um, just his air units, and even though he goes on the second time, it's going to be at half power, but it's still very, very formidable. So now I'm going to be a little risky here. I'm going to move this forward. I mean, right, like, he's that creating space. That's interesting, <laughs> but here I'm going to do this. It's not what I would have done, but you know. <laughs> it's okay. You play your game. <laughs> and now I want to move over here. So we're going to end up more, more than likely. I won't be able to. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm going to be careful. So see, we have to see how. Aha! <laughs> mm -hmm. So this looks good. Yeah. I'm just going to move you over because I know you're going to. You know what? Yeah. I know what you're you gonna try. Gotta take a chance do. sometimes. Well, because what what you can do is kind of fly around, right, and then activate and come right back under. Yeah. Yes. So what I'm going to do is block right here. Ooh, that's pretty clever. You've okay. learned from your mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't move anything else, so I'm just going to be first uh, forced to end my turn. <laughs> and that CO power is full, so we'll see. Have mercy, Eagle. We'll see when he chooses to use it. I'm not sure if he'll use it now, but I know if he does not use it now and I blow his jet out of the sky, th yep, oh. then 
he will use that bomber and probably destroy my medium tank and maybe an APC. But that's okay. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Again, mm -hmm. part of the plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got this. Everything's looking good. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> that's how you're making D feel right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got this here. I'm going to speed things up again. This will finish it, yes. All right, now I can safely start moving all of my troops over. Now life can resume again. <laughs> yeah, now we're looking really bit, good. So yeah. now I can just fly all the way over here. Mm. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, we good. We good. Remember whose side she's on. <laughs> uh, that's true. <laughs> that's very true. I have to admit, you're doing very well. <laughs> For now. Hands her to stay I don't it, believe but... you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are. <laughs> you do still have that bomber to worry about. I do. And I still have to make sure I don't draw too much attention. And I think I'm going to be able to move this right. Yeah, you really don't want them to come for you until you're quite ready for it. Oh, I really can't move very far. Okay, here. I don't think you'll be able to relax until... Eagle uses that CO power. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I still have... Okay. I should be all right. I'm going to try to move right... Here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going for it. Oh. Well, we'll see. We'll see if this is the start of your downfall. So we definitely just lost this medium tank. And I think we might lose my anti-air unit as well. But that's okay. It's always hard to predict Speed what Eagle's going to go for next. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here it comes. He might actually go for an APC. And you'll see bombers are incredibly powerful. I Ooh. love this animation so much. Yeah, it's like <laughs> everything out. The game is beginning now. <laughs> Here it comes. Ugh. Here it comes. Yes. <laughs> but see, I, I planned this. I can't help but notice your transport copter is uh, <laughs> not being turtled. But no, it's okay because you can't bomb the transport copter, so we're fine. Mm -hmm. The bomber can't attack. But yep, going for an APC. Oh, your trick worked. Yeah. That's pretty good. And that, yeah, this is the type of play style I like to kind of try to draw them out in, you know, on my, my time. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're looking really, really good here now. So I'm going to start capture everything, capture this base. Then I'm going to capture this city. And the way that works is you see there's a point structure there. And again, remember that units have uh, different... Oh, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> uh, have, have HP. So um, to capture this, I need 20. And since I have a full unit at 10, that means I'll be able to capture it next turn. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna shoot this thing down totally, right? Yeah, 116. There we go. That's gonna feel pretty good. Bye. Oh, oh. <laughs> gone. What do you think Bye, about that, Kay? Bye, bomber. <laughs> you will be remembered. <laughs> all right. So now we really opened up a lot. So I'm gonna move all of my stuff up because we still kind of have to worry um, about the bases. We don't want a bunch of tanks starting to roll across the bridge here. And there still is a tank up there, so I'm just going to start moving into position. Actually, yeah, just because that bomber's gone doesn't mean he doesn't have tricks up his sleeve still. Correct. Never underestimate your opponent. You never know what they're going to do. You're learning. <laughs> <laughs> going to go ahead and supply. You want to capture that? Nope. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope, nope. Sorry. Not today. Ooh. Even with that high amount of defense, that's not going to help you. No. All right, Eagle's now let's move not happy here. about that. No. <laughs> Just move that over there. Okay, we're looking good, right? I'm not forgetting anything, am I, ladies? No. Not that Kay's going to tell you. <laughs> 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 and now you may be wondering, well, Demetrius, you have your CO power. I'm going to save that for for the end, and you'll, you'll see why. Sometimes when you get your CO power, you don't really want to use it right away. You want to use it at the most opportune moment. Right. That's right. It's You're not so easy Andy to get it back. This time instead of now, so you've got a different... Correct. Different CO power this time to show off. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is move my tank over here. Looking good. I want to move my artillery up as high as possible, right there. All right, here we go. So now we know the tank can come all the way down, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly over here, drop. And now there's nothing this tank can do. And I'm gonna move my battle copter in po into position. And really, this is pretty much winnable no matter what now. And I'm actually in a really good spot here. Yeah. I you don't know think you're I've feeling seen you cozy. do this well before. He's capturing so many cities, he's feeling cozy. Yeah. I practiced. <laughs> <laughs> we won't ask you how many times. <laughs> I was, let's say more than one. <laughs> Replay value. <laughs> now this will do some significant damage, but we're okay. All right, here comes wow. all the tanks and all that, but we're not worried about that. Now, if for some reason things did go south, you can just, you know, just as a little bit of advice, you can always start to build something down here like rockets. And now you see, I have the bridge covered. So I can just start piling things on, going over here. I can move over here. See, now I have so many things covered. Let's go ahead and use this battle copter just to take this down. All right, it's not gonna do much damage. And you may be wondering, well, this is still wounded. Well, now it's time to use my CO power. <laughs> yeah. So Andy has what's called hyper repair. And remember now, every unit has about 10, has 10 HP. With hyper repair, you get two HP back for every unit you have. Oh, nice. It's really, really wonderful. That can really save your neck yeah. sometimes too. Yeah, I've, I've won many, many emissions just repairing and getting through it. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're looking good here. We have it captured. Can I move? Oh, it's out of the way. I can't help it. I got to capture more. <laughs> it's One right thing to there. know, too, <laughs> is the more cities you have captured, the more amount of gold or, or in-game currency you're going to get per turn. And that's what helps you build everything. Okay, so you know what? I think we're good. I'm not even going to worry. I'm just going to end my turn. We got this. You're doing pretty great resource management here, I have to say. Capturing cities, building at bases. You're, you're owning. You're so a worthy opponent. He's trying. <laughs> Look, that does nothing. That does nothing. You can move all over here. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. I'm just going to hold fast forward here. You can't even take out my regular tank. You got nothing. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Now you're mocking me. <laughs> you better, you better uh, yeah, it's not be gonna careful fly. how uh, confident you are. Well, you it's know, not over till it's over. Should I capture everything I just saw? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to give it all. <laughs> capture. He's going to make him so Boom, mad. and that's it. That's mission accomplished. Ooh. Very well done. No, that seems possible because I was playing. We never oh. doubted you for a second, either of us. <laughs> So there, there is a lot more to show um, in the future. Uh, don't forget, this was just from the first campaign of Advance Wars 1. Um, there is also the second campaign, Advance Wars 2, Black Hole Rising. And also, uh, I'd like to say real quickly that there is online uh, gameplay. So there is more going to be uh, about that coming so, uh, in the future as well. That's right, we've got a four-player uh, co-op that supports uh, up to four players and uh, all kinds of Commanding officers, weather, fog of war, different units. We haven't even taken a look at Advanced Wars 2, so there's still a lot to discover, but we we're so happy to be able to show you this. And uh, please stay tuned. Next, we're going to take a look at WarioWare. Get it together. Stick around. <laughs> <laughs>